Okay, so this would be video nine of our 30 day uh, servo motion uh, applica application. Uh, basically, what we'll be doing is uh, we're making the ACD file, we're making the HMI file, we'll have them running together, it's all emulated with no actual hardware. Um, so, to recap, what we've done so far to video one through eight is we've uh, added our, our servos, we've added our um, user-defined data type, we've added our programs uh, as far as access one, two, three, and four, uh, we've added basically our machine controls, um, we've added our virtual master, um, and at this point right here, we've went ahead and, you know, added our, our draw controls, our home, our uh, main controls, and stuff of that nature for each axis. Uh, granted, this is using all virtual axis. We have no actual physical hardware, so uh, the controls are slightly different than they would be from a, a standard servo system. But this still is, you know, I mean, it gives a good representation of of how they work. So um, what, we, what we're going to do in this one is we're going to go ahead and uh, program the uh, the actual master jog. So we're going to program the master jog, and then we're going to uh, go ahead and download and try the code uh, just to, to see what we have so far, verify that everything's working properly, and to uh, you know verify that you know we don't need to make any necessary changes or stuff before we go any further. So uh, real quick, we'll just throw in the, um, the jog command. So we'll we'll basically throw like a uh, let's see, let's call this, uh, let's call this machine, actually, i tell you what, we have a machine on, or machine run command, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll call this uh, HMI system start. And then what we'll do at that point is we'll have that trigger that that bit. Uh, so in actually, I want to say it's in in the main right here. We'll have it trigger this bit. So in that instance. <clears throat> We'll have that be the control for the the uh, so as it starts. Um, so what we'll do at this point, we'll also come down and add another rung, and at that point, we're going to go ahead and add some controls to say uh, basically we're going to sum everything up <clears throat> before we actually run everything. We want to make sure everything's summed up. So if you recall, we had the summing bits, um, you know, the OKs. Uh, okay gears and stuff like that. Um, we want to make sure that everything is actually on. So we want to take each one of these and what I'm going to do is copy one and just basically they're all the same same tag except for the number. So I want to go ahead and paste that in there and just do that for all four. As we do that, we'll come back and change the last to represent the last number to represent the actual servo that it's supposed to be doing. <clears throat> so what we're doing here is we're verifying that all are geared, and then so at this point we'll say. Actually, we'll, let's call this system geared. Okay. 
Okay, so that's system geared. <clears throat> so the next instance we want to do is we want to verify that no axis is faulted out, right? So at this point, we want to use the summing bit that no axis is faulted as well. So this would be temporary control uh, as, as we will actually come back and put this in our state machine. But for what we're doing right now, we want to go ahead and use it for this element. So we'll come in and the, or if you recall, we have the summing bit in each one of the controls uh, to verify that nothing's faulted. So we'll come back in the main. I'm sorry, the uh, uh, virtual control and add, add that in there as well. And like I said, we're gonna adjust this later. We're going to put this in the actual state machine, <clears throat> but right now for the for what we're doing, we just want to test it. Put that up there. That way, it's a little bit better. We'll come down here and we'll do. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's say if all servos are okay, you're able to start. And then if all are geared, so if all are geared, then go ahead and start the the job. So at this point, we want to throw in virtual so virtual access jog. And then after that, we'll come in and put our actual jog command. And this axis we want to use our for is going to be for our virtual. And so, if you recall, we don't have, we didn't make one for this yet, so we didn't make a tag for this one. So virtual master control. And then we'll change our data type to our basic UDT that we have, right? We want to select jog. Again, direction zero speed we'll throw our speed at 20 this is just a test um, as far as units um, acceleration rate you know pretty constant and then acceleration units we'll we'll just keep it we'll come back and adjust all this you know later Profile, uh, trapezoid, okay, so <clears throat> What we want to do too is 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 to verify that our virtual axis is, is uh, going to be on. But in this instance, we're not going to go ahead and, and program that 
or you know at this point in time we just want to go ahead and, and download this and see if it runs um, you know and then start and we'll kind of monitor it at, at that point we'll come back and add the logic later for that Okay, so now we're waiting on a start, a start button right from the HMI. So apparently all the axes are, are good. There's no faults. Uh, the homing is, is good. Uh, of course, it's not. We didn't home it. We didn't have to. Uh, but we will come back and do that later. So at this point, let's go ahead and start. Okay, so now it's actually running. And what we should see, we should actually see the, uh, well actually, we just stopped gearing. So we, let's keep that high right now. <clears throat> okay, so now what we should see is the actual servos running. So let's go to that draw control. Okay, so now everything is running, and it's running at a draw of, uh, so this is uh, the the virtual axis in this instance is running at a speed of 20 and that, that's going to be if we look at the draw control that's going to be times uh, 1.2 so if we actually look at axis 2 and look at the properties it's running it at a velocity of 24 when the virtual master, let's pull that up. So the virtual master is actually running at a speed of 20. So let's do something real quick. Let's let's take axis two and let's change the or change the uh, the draw on it. So now let's go back in the tags and look at so we're still if you look at this we're still running the virtual axis at a velocity of 20 right we come back and we said was well, axis 2 now it's running at 26 because we changed the draw factor so if we look at axis 3 it's still 24 so if you go down here to 24 the draw factor is still 1.2 now if we change this to 1.1 1.0 <clears throat> it should be 20 so if we go back to tag database it's at 20 go back to draw control and then 1.1 now we're running 22 okay so you can kind of see the speed difference right you can kind of see that the draw factor is actually playing, doing its role, <clears throat> and doing what it's supposed to be doing. So now that we have all this in here, um, what we can do is we, we can go in here and, and uh, change this. Because right now, if I drop this out, um, obviously I, I lose my my gearing status, uh, which is not exactly good because the uh, mag is still good. So I'm still geared and it's still working. But I can't update. So what I'd like to do is, is fix that. And uh, so let's go in here and, and do that real quick. So how do we want to do that? Uh, we just want a momentary start. We can do this one or two ways. Let's, let's go ahead and do this. For the time being, let's do it like this.
and then we'll do the same thing. We'll, we'll have like a stop in here. So we'll have an HMI stop. Because we will we'll have an HMI system stop eventually. And then that way it will keep it constant. Okay, so now let's take and unlatch the run. And then we want to throw in, <clears throat> obviously we want to throw in the stop, right? So if it's stopped, then we want to stop the axis. So let's go and add our stop in here. right now right now we don't currently have a stop so we'll just throw that in there um, and again we're using our our UDT so stop style all D cell no D cell change no We'll just throw some throw some values in here right now just kind of make it make it happy okay so that stops the system right okay so now we come in here we start and everything's running and then if we hit the stop button everything stops okay so that pretty much simulates the system uh, it shows the draws running shows everything that is functioning uh, granted we put in some simple logic right here for the master we'll come back and clean that up when we do more of the state machine uh, add some more state machine but again just wanted to kind of test the logic see where we were see what we needed to do um, and hopefully that kind of shows you some quick ways to do some system checks to make sure everything you're doing so far is healthy okay so um again we ran over our 15 minute time limit or about 18 minutes so again i appreciate your time and your patience um we'll go ahead and uh we'll end the video here and we'll pick up on day day 10 we'll start picking up on uh kind of merging this stuff into uh, the state machine and, and kind of summing all this stuff up into faults and stuff of that nature. Uh, even having like an e-stop and, and stuff like that. Um, so without further ado, we'll just go ahead and stop this. And again, appreciate your time and, and your support. So we'll, we'll have another video out for you tomorrow. Thank you.